do, 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 do. And something on my lips. They're so dry. <sighs> the color here looks so much better during the day than it does at night. I'm late for a very important date, also known as our live stream get together party. Ethereal essences. Wow, that is quick. I love to see you guys just jump in here like you've been waiting. Um, it's so awesome to see you guys here. My friend Sophia from the Dominican Republic, who I'm going to see next week. Not not this week, as in Sunday being the first day of the week, but the week after that. Um, how are you, Ethereal Essences? Anyway, Sophia, I was talking to her today. I'm like, what do you what do you guys need? Because anytime, um, just an FYI for people in the U.S., if you're traveling anywhere and you want to make relationships, and please, if you, if you're traveling, my Christmas tree really has seen better days. Um, I need to throw it out. Um, if you are traveling anywhere in the world, understand. Um, most of the world doesn't have access to that we have in the United States, in the continental United States. So when you travel places, plan on making friends and, and don't like, like bring a couple things that actually mean something. Um, but actually once you make friends in places, understand there's certain things they can't access. So you can, you can find things out. A really good uh, place to start is like beauty products or perfume or things like that, that are exclusive in the United States that are, that don't necessarily ship internationally. If you know people that like that stuff, otherwise, um, for example, uh, Sophia, she, I, I was much, she was on here on one of the live streams and I mentioned biotin and she's like, Oh, I need a tin. And I said, Oh, okay. I'll bring you some because, um, I know that's hard to get in the DR. It's even harder to get in Haiti. She's actually Haitian, but she lives in the DR. So, um, happy Sunday. Miss Charlie's here and uh, Christelle Strecker is here and Jillian Martha five is with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody. Sorry if I missed anybody. Uh, I'm just giving my intro and, uh, drinking some, uh, emergency generic brand. So I ran out of the other stuff that I was the nature's way that I was given to test. <coughs> it was okay, but I actually think I like this one better. This is the Walmart brand um, because it's got the vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc. I know you're seeing that backwards, but since uh, I'm fighting this crud again for the umpteenth time, but I'm going to the Caribbean, so maybe I can sweat it out sitting on the beach for a week. We'll see. Um, and hanging out with friends. Most of ours is going to be hanging out with friends. When you travel, I know people like to go to resorts and do like the touristy things, but meet people. That's like the best thing about traveling. The worst trip I ever took was the one we went to, to, uh, Germany with, um, choir from, from my undergrad. And partly that was because I was so much older than everybody else. Welcome to Anna Mon Montier Montiero Gatos. Okay, is Gatos really part of your part of your name? Because I like Gatos. Um, I have a Gato, Gata. She's cute. Her name is Peanut. She's down here somewhere. She's she's uh, she. Her and and uh, uh, Rainbow are getting to be almost friends. They're definitely tolerant. They just she kind of walks by her, and Rainbow's like, okay, whatever. But um, they haven't yet decided to play together. But that should happen soon. Anyway, hi, I'm Priscilla. And I like to talk about things like gatos because I like gatos. Um, yes, uh, yes, cats. I know. I love. I love cats. Um, and also travel and the world in general and makeup and beauty and eyeglasses, which is what we're talking about today. Are these not adorbs? We're gonna talk about it, uh, talk about those in Portugal. Okay, you're in Portugal. Is gato? Is the same word in Spanish and um, and Portuguese? I didn't realize that. I don't. I don't know any Portuguese um, except for what crosses over into Spanish. I know Spanish. I don't know Portuguese. So, so I'm drinking my vitamin, um, and I actually just um, got back, and I haven't taken my supplements. So you guys are gonna join me in that as well. Um, while we just do our introduction and talk about the world. What's going on with you guys? Are you staying warm? Is everybody warm out there? It's seven degrees now. Um, it 
has been zero, one, you know, one degree, zero, whatever, um, today. Yesterday, it was like 20. Uh, and actually, I think it got um, almost to 30. I think it was like 29. And uh, we thought it was a heat stroke. And then now it's back cold again. And so, um, oof, it just stinks when you open it. And um, then next week, uh, tomorrow is supposed to be cold, but then after that, it's supposed to get warm again. So I'm excited, but then we'll be in the Caribbean for a week. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Kitties 87. This is apparently the cat channel because we got gatos and we got kitties. So, and uh, if Peanut decides to be social, she can come over here. She's just sitting down here like sniffing at Rainbow. Like she wants to go say hi to, to her, but hasn't. Um, so this is what I'm taking. You guys can see what I'm taking. I just got an extra bottle of these and I just dumped the, what was left in the old one into the new one. This is the extra strength hair, skin, and nails. 5,000 micrograms of biotin. Um, and then it's got like argan oil, coconut. It's got a whole bunch of stuff here. That's a pretty good mix. Um, because I'm, I get so deficient in so many of my nutrients. Uh, makeup diary 14 is here. Hi, welcome back. And decent Munda. <laughs> or is it Descent, <laughs> I don't know. Six eighty nine. Um, I just think it's funny. Funny that we're Spanish. We're speaking of Spanish. Um, it's the female world, right? Munda is the female world. Uh, yeah. So I am taking this stuff from my hair because I'm so deficient in so much stuff because of. Um, I was going to say because of COVID. No, not COVID. Because of um, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Hi, friend. How are you? Good to see you. Um, and then I picked this up, which I have not done yet. This is type 1 and 3 plus vitamin C. Oh, there's more vitamin C. Okay. Yeah, I'll take more vitamin C. Um, three tablets twice a day on an empty stomach. So this is, uh, oh, what vitamins did you get? I just, I'm just opening them up now, so I'll show you. So collagen. Um, yeah, I decided to add this. Even though this has collagen, but it's only... 60 milligrams in here and this is a thousand milligrams so hey more is more right um so we're gonna do three tablets twice a day and see do you guys take collagen um miss charlie's first name is miss and her last name is charlie <laughs> ah, miss charlie right on that miss charlie <coughs> And then I'm also taking this. So this is mostly biotin, um, 500 micrograms of biotin, but it also has vitamin A, D, or A, A, C, D, E, um, B1. Oh, I got to remember. I'm, we're going to get to that. B1. Uh, niacin B6, folate, 666 micrograms. That sounds devious. Um the screen name is long, so figured I'd ask. Yeah, I'm ju I'm just messing with you. You can you can go ahead and ask her. I'm just I'm just I'm just being silly. Uh, vitamin vitamin V12. How about vitamin B12? Biotin, as we already mentioned. Uh, panthenic acid, which is decalcium something or other. Zinc, sel selenium, argan oil, PBA something, horsetail extract. Hyaluronic acid, silica, uh, coconut oil. So all those things here. So I take three of these and um, I'm really getting in quite the supplement. Apparently I'm doing a lot of supplements. Um, and then I use this probiotic. I can't say that. So most of these are the same brand because this is a pretty decent brand. It's pretty well respected and whatnot. And it's less expensive. Uh, Illibi, Illibi, 5292. I'm going to try to say your name that way. And if I said it wrong, you can correct me, but welcome. Uh, so this is 2 billion active cultures. That's a lot of cultures. Um, I like culture. <laughs> anyway, it's for digestive health. This is supposed to be pretty good for it because I know digestive um, issues are one of the things that we have with um, PCOS. So I take one of these. I'll show you the whole mix. Since we're doing it, we may as well do it. I sat down and went, oh, I haven't taken this this morning. Usually I take these right away in the morning, but 
Sunday morning, which we kind of run out of time sometimes. Prenatal. So I take a prenatal because of PCOS. A lot of the stuff that we lack, this has. So this has, again, vitamin A, C, D3, E, uh, thiamine, which the other one does not have, uh, riboflavin, and niacin, that one has, vitamin B6, folate, B12, calcium, iron, iodine, and zinc. So this just has a lot of the stuff, and I just add this in to make sure I kind of just get well-rounded, throw that in there. Um, I could just like piece these together, but you know, I, I figure between, actually between the biotin and the prenatal, I think I get most of the stuff I need. Uh, and then also drinking this, this stuff here, right? Um, garlic. So I'm taking a garlic and this is mostly because when I went in to the dentist, it, I have high blood pressure and I, I had a high blood pressure and I don't know if that was just a one-off. I haven't before, but I have not been to the doctor for a long time. Uh, since I was in Haiti and, um, and I avoid doctors cause they're idiots. Um, sorry if there's any doctors on here, but you know, they are, <laughs> they're paid off to say what they're, what the industry tells them is acceptable. Not all of them are idiots. There's some nice ones too, but overall, a lot of them are idiots. Anyway, I take one of these a day. Um, and yeah, cause garlic is good for you and it's supposed to fight cancer and be good for your heart and all sorts of good stuff. Um, magnesium, this is one of the things that you just, for, especially for PCOS, we need this for bone and muscle health. Um, and for, um, also it helps with like the hair loss things and, um, it kind of just, uh, and also it's supposed to help, I think with blood pressure. I believe that this is one of the things that, um, I discovered with that, etc. So I just take one of these. This is 250 milligrams. Um, I got the big thing cause why not? Uh, and also toll, um, this is one that I, I got this one off, uh, Amazon cause I can't get these. Um, turmeric is one that I, I put turmeric in my tea almost every day and, um, cause I've heard it's good, <coughs> but that means it's just steeping. I'm not actually getting the full amount. I don't know if that's, if that's greatly reducing the benefits or not. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of maybe adding turmeric to this. I was actually looking at turmeric and also... Um, cinnamon is another thing I put in my tea almost every day when I make tea and, and I also put it in my coffee. A turmeric is not as tasty in coffee. So I use cinnamon for that. Um, but that's also good for, um, uh, 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 um, the blood sugar and that sort of thing, insulin. So, um, yeah, so this is 500 milligrams of inositol. Um, and there are a couple of different, this is the myo inositol form. There are a couple of, uh, inositols and this is the first one I've tried. So I might try the one that's a blend of two, but that's quite a bit more expensive. So I figured I'd start with this and see if I have any drastic changes to my PCOS symptoms. I don't yet. I am actually shedding more hair than I have for a while. I wasn't shedding hair for quite a while. Um, but I, you know, before I used to be basically balding, visibly balding, like the, the part would be about that much of just scalp. Um, and so I just would brush everything back and try try to take your your attention away from it with my charming personality um, <laughs> but then it, i found some secrets and was able to kind of grow it back and stuff we'll talk about my hair in a second here um vital protein proteins powder for hair nails and skin and the gummies as well okay yeah so that's kind of probably a lot of the same thing so that the um similar stuff that i that i'm taking like the uh but biotin and um, collagen that I picked up today, there's probably a lot of that stuff in there. And then also iron and that sort of thing. But the iron is, let's see, I think there's there's iron in the prenatals, right? They're better than that, should be. Yeah, iron, 104% um, of the daily value. And zinc, I get quite a bit of zinc. This is this is 192% of the daily value. So I should be getting quite a bit of zinc in that too. I should get sick with all the stuff I'm taking, but apparently I am. Uh, COQ10, another thing for heart, um, because this is something as we age with PCOS, all of this stuff kind of comes back. And when you're young, it's just it, it's just annoying. When you're older, then that's when the the actual bad results come in. Your hair is thinning too. I use biotin tablets and gummies for and biotin hair oil. Um, and also try do you do you use um uh castor oil. Castor oil is good. And actually any oils, just use oils 
wash your hair as as little as possible also if you can handle it um garlic and or um onion juice you can just juice them and then seal it put it in the in the refrigerator or put it in the freezer or it'll last longer but i think the fresher is probably better um but that really helps stimulate the follicles and then less stinky is rice water. So try white rice water too, but be careful with rice water because if you have high porosity hair, um, it can make it break. So you want to be careful because it's very, it's high in protein apparently is what I hear. Um, uh, fish oil and red krill. So I, I take fish oil. Yeah. So that I just started taking fish oil. So I don't think it's making a significant impact. Yeah. I'll talk about my hair. Um, fish oil for your heart. Okay. And then COQ10. Kitty's like getting right up to puppy. She really wants to be friends. Um, but she's also wants to be the boss. Um, yeah, for heart health and yeah, 100 milligrams. So I take one of these little bright orange gel, gel dilly babs. Marta 1980 is here. Hi, Marta 1980. That would make you five years younger than me. Congratulations, you young buck. <laughs> Yeah, youngin, wet behind the, the ears, right? Um, and then here's my omega-3 fish oil with, um, there's other stuff in here too, right? Natural lemon flavor. Apparently has lemon in it to control the fishy aftertaste. I don't have a problem with fishy aftertaste. Um, no, it's just, this is just omega-3 acids, 200 milligrams, and then EPA, I don't even know what that is, DHA. Is that what the actual lemon stuff is? I don't know, maybe. So I take two of these big honking things. Uh, fish oil makes me burp and taste like fish. Do you, which one do you take? Because this one doesn't make me burp at all, but I'm I maybe not a very burpy pe person. Actually, um, I think that the probiotics might be helping with that because I've had a lot of problems. I usually have really bad problems with heartburn. That seems to have taken care of that. So here is my daily regimen. I have to see if this is going to fit in my little carry. It's not going to. This is what I take each morning. Now, now that I added these three big honking guys. Um, that morning glow up is with us. Hi, that morning glow up. This is my afternoon glow up. I'm just kidding. So these are the these are the um, supplements that I'm going to be taking. Uh, burpless fish oil gels. Yeah, they do have the burpless fish oil gels. I have not tried those. I just get this one from Walmart. I don't know. It doesn't seem to make to make me burp, but you know, I guess everybody's a little bit different. So I'm gonna wash it down with this vitamin. And by the way, I put this in warm water. I did just swallow all of those in one take. Do I get a prize for that? Kessler Zelchko, Zelchko is with us. Welcome back. Good to see you. Is it Kessler? Kieser? Is it Kieser or Kessler? I don't know. I'm sorry. So my hair situation, you can see. Um, it, I, it's been better. It's been better. Sad El Masri. El, El Masri. El, El Masri. Is that it? Maybe. Anyway, it's a sad. So sad, not sad. I said sad. Sorry. It's sad. So welcome. Welcome to our party. Um, yeah. So I just took all of my supplements in one big gulp because I'm a beast like that. And the, the, the secret is to open up the lyrics, which I know how to do because I'm a singer. It comes in handy, right? When you want to swallow a bunch of pills. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to take. And I will probably try to take the, um, the collagen a second time as well, or I might not, I might just do it once a day. It can't hurt to just take it once a day. Right. I mean, I'm getting a whole lot more than I was. So, so we'll see. I also picked up the biotin for my friend and, um, now I've got to figure out how to pack this all in with me. We're going to talk about my hair in a second. We'll talk about my nails too. Um, so I picked this up $1 at Walmart. <clears throat> Yay for there are still things that cost a dollar. If you're noticing my coughing and you haven't been around, it's because your girl has had bronchitis since July and then she got sick again. Like a ninny. 
I know this is not very sanitary. I'm sure other people have touched these and stuff at Walmart. Do I care? I don't. I don't. This is how this is how we build up our immune systems is to just tempt them. Tempt them with diseases. You know, I was talking about um, after church we have, I really like because because our church meets early. I don't like that part. But I like the fact that afterwards, hi, kitty. Hi. Well, welcome, say hi. Um, after church, we have like a little fellowship time and, and snackies and things like that afterwards. Just my baby girl. Look at the kitty. She's cute as peanut. Mm. She's a sweetheart. She's, I think the, um, the heat issue is maybe subsiding right now. It'll come up back at least one more time before we actually get her appointment. But um, Ariane Shikaya uh, is here. Jamie is here. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Look, Jamie, look. Look. My husband was so mad. But isn't she cute? Yeah, she's so cute. This is what happens when, um, when uh, hubbies decide to say to their wife, they don't have time to get a Christmas present, and so buy anything that you want. That's what happens. He learned. He learned. Or I, I hope you. I mean, maybe you didn't learn. Maybe maybe we'll repeat the same thing the next time the holiday comes along. He doesn't want to get me something. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> my friend at church is always teasing him about it now. You like the cat? How's the cat? He's like, stop talking to me about the cat. Shut up. He's so mad. Anyway, so this is my, because it's purple. You know, it's got to be purple. I also grabbed these, these little pill pouches, um, because I'm probably going to need these for some of the bigger pills, because I got some pretty honking horse pills in here. So, isn't she adorable? She's so cute. I got her on Craigslist. Um, the girl that had her had another older cat, and she was tormenting the older cat, because she's a little feisty. She's, she's a sweetheart. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, she's the one that she's, she's, heat is happening. And so she's, um, she's a little bit tormented because of that. So this is not, this is not that bad. It's not going to hold everything there, but it'll hold the smaller ones. And then I think I can put the bigger ones into these little pill pouches. So hopefully that'll work because, um, of traveling for one week, I didn't want to bring that whole arsenal of stuff. So she will probably be serenading us, um, through much of this. Um, just, you know, that's that's how it works because you know when you're when you're feeling when you're feeling like you need some love you just have to you have to sing about it. That's how it works. And so far she hasn't had any success in bringing love to her. Um, so my hair. Okay, um, I've been streaking. <laughs> that doesn't mean what what you think. I don't think that means what you think it means. Um, uh, Princess Bride, best movie ever. So, uh, I lightened it and then I wanted to go pink and I wanted to go like this color pink. Clearly it didn't happen because I had a little mixing snafu. Basically I just didn't mix the right amount. And so I ended up, um, having a lot of pale streaks in here. I'm okay with that cause it's kind of a cool color. And especially since I'm going to a warmer climate, but I do want some brightness. So I think a couple pieces like this, I'm going to try to re-dye. Uh, probably on Friday, but I'm letting my hair rest. So I'll just show you kind of what's going on with it. Um, I just oiled it. I put extra oil. So even though I washed it, um, after, so when I dye it, I usually leave it dirty. I, I, I keep it dirty. You know, I, I wash once a month, once a week, not once a month. And then I put extra oil in and then I use the bleach to try to kind of just protect it. Um, but I have blue and I have purple in here, so you can't see it super clear. I'll try to get some better pictures of it and whatnot. Um, you can see the purple here and there is, there's like a teal, teal blue. Let me see if I can grab that piece right there. So there's this teal blue here. Can you see that? Um, there's a few of those. So I'm trying to add some bright pink because I think it'll be fun for going to the Caribbean. Uh, and as I'm doing it all underneath. So I pick up the top part for those that you, of you that haven't seen. If you have seen, you know, you can just see what's going on. So that's why right now my hair, it's looking a little bit um, straw-y. Straw-y? Is that a word? Straw-y? And um, so I just need to, like, get the cuticle kind of closed back in. So I'll just keep putting oil on here for most of the week. I might just rinse, you know, kind of do a really light rinse on the scalp, but then um, not 
Tr like try not to get any soap on the bottom and just continue to put oil in here just so it it heals a little bit before I put stuff in. I also really, really, really want to go to um, European Wax and get that. I know you're disgusting, right, guys? I don't care. You know how it is around here. My arms, because they're, they're kind of, they're not as hairy as they used to be because I used to get them waxed pretty, um, pretty often. But Lindsay Nails is here. Makeup by Lindsay Nails. Hi, Lindsay Nails. I have some cute nails, but this one fell off. Um, let's talk about nails. So I've been playing with these guys, these press-ons. <coughs> my nails are super weak, super weak. So my hair is super fine. The follicles are just really, really fine and thin. Um, and my nails are the same. So my nails are very thin and weak and pliable. And I'll just go outside and just tap something and a chunk of it will just fall off. That's just how brittle they are. Um, that's why I feel like you're my friend because I show my armpit hair. I know. It's just, you know, hey, we got to do it. And when I came on here, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be me because I don't know how to be anything else. And I'm, uh, I'm creative and I'm interesting and I'm awesome. But I'm not for everybody, and that's totally fine. So, you know, we just, we do, we do us. Oh, I just realized this is almost exactly the same color. I could do this, this one in it. Um, that Mua girl. Um, hi, that Mua girl. Come be a Mua with us. Um, I know it means MUA, that's okay. So this Impress, that has a bunch of these, and then it has 12 of the accent nails. I put these ones on. See how they're cute, and they're like sparkly, right? Very similar to this that I just picked up which I didn't realize that. Um, I don't know. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Great advice. I put one on here and actually I tried two different ones and they kept popping off, uh, but they stay on the rest of them, but I keep losing it on here. And I think the reason is because this fingernail must be flatter. And so when I'm putting this on, it's more arched and it's not holding on. So if you guys have any secrets for that, let me know. If they're adhesives, they're like a gummy adhesive sort of thing, two-sided tape sort of kind of thing, um, boogery sort of stuff, right? Uh, yeah, adhesive that you'd use. For, so I'm, I'm, I don't know if there's a place to get that sort of adhesive that, I'm thinking like rubber cement stuff that you could just kind of paint back on, but stronger than that. Um, sometimes they stay on, sometimes they don't. I don't expect these to stay on super well, but I put these, I put these on a week ago. And then I repaired a couple of them. But the thumbs have stayed. Wait, no, am I lying? No, I had a couple other ones. I had the other, I had these two, I think, and these two were the sparkles from before. Then all of these were the, the nude ones. So three nude on each hand. And those have stayed. I could be lying to you, but I don't know. I don't think I'm lying. And then like this one came off and these two came off. I think is how it happened. So I replaced those, and then these two kept coming off. This one's now stayed on today, but this one I just can't keep it on. So I'm trying to figure it out, but I do really like these because they they don't damage the nails at all, and they're they're super cute. Look how cute those are. Um, they look really nice, and they're just these little um, press-on nails here. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys have advice. Wraps are the problem with a wrap is it it depends on the on the uh, my own nail to support it and there's just not my nails are just so weak and brittle that's why I tend to keep them short because they're just this time of year they'll just snap right off but they're growing fast so they grow to the end of these and then I have to cut them so that they don't stick out underneath so um, okay so then I picked these up because we were at Walmart and I felt like I needed to do that. And I thought, you know, at the Dominican Republic, I not, I don't want to mess with the press-ons because, you know, the beach and everything else are going to just be flying everywhere, I feel. I might not. I don't know. I, I, I might. I, they might not. That's what I mean. So I picked these up. Um, I wanted periwinkle. I got, I love me some periwinkle. So this is a Salon Perfect. It's like a $4 one. Neon Pop in the color. Frolic with me. Ooh, that's what my kitty wants to wear right now. She's singing the song of Frolic with me. Um, <laughs> and then this one, isn't that cute? L.A. Colors. I like L.A. Colors because they're cheap and it's just easy to put a little splash or something. But it's mermaid colors and it's purple and pink, like a dual chromey sort of, sort of effect there. So those are fun. And then I grabbed this one, which is another Mermaid Magic 
um, because I figured I can throw that on top. But see how close that is to what I've got on my nails? I didn't do that on purpose. But I could actually probably just paint this one and then people will think at first glance that it's meant to be even though this one's shorter. But no, no. And then I grabbed this because hubby wants to do his. Um, in Haiti and the Dominican Republic, guys get their nails done and they put a clear coat. Um, and it's funny because here that's considered like um, gay. It's not there. And it was funny because, my, you know, my uh, talk about homophobic. Yeah, my husband is definitely uh, un unashamedly, unabashedly. Um, he'll outright laugh. He he's so politically incorrect. Sometimes it's hilarious bringing people from another country that don't have like the, the cultural norms. And they, you know, so it's just funny to watch him. He's just like, he just, I mean, he's not mean, but he's just like, that's so weird. Like, that's not the way things are supposed to be. He's just like, he's funny. He just, <coughs> he doesn't hide his shock very well. And he also, he doesn't know how to whisper. So like, if something comes up, he'll just be like, why is that person doing that? And I'm like, you do realize they can understand you. And I try to get him to talk to me in, in Creole about it, you know, and he'll just keep talking in English. I'm like, you don't know how to be subtle. You're going to get in trouble. <laughs> All right, that stuff actually tastes pretty good when it's warm. I use the hottest water that comes out of the tap and do that. So I got the cuticle remover because I got to do hubby's nails. And I also got to do mine. I have one of these, but it's it might be a little bit dull. This one looks like it might be just um, brutal, though. So I'm going to have to really soak the nails and make sure that it, it's soft and I'm not cutting into anything because that looks like it could. That looks like the kind of one you don't really want to share. I mean, even though, you know, he's my husband, so whatever. Any blood disease he has, I have. Probably. Um, injection board. Injection board. I got this little emery board. Or it's an injection board. I don't know what an injection board is. Somebody tell me what an injection board is. Not ejection. Injection. Anyway, I got that because I'm going to do my nails there. And then I just grabbed this. I like these little pads. Um, they're acetone free. And nail polish remover. I have used these before. And I really like those. Those are LA Colors mango flavored, flavored, scented. <coughs> so that's my plan. I do have these ones as well, which I think are so cute. And I haven't tapped into those yet. They have some really cute purple ones too. I was tempted, but I didn't get them. Um, because I just, I mean, I like the idea of having these like on the weekend, getting new ones. And then like for this week, probably what I'll do is just take this color that I got and accidentally matched to what is on my nails and then see if I can just make this one nail match the other one since it doesn't want to, um, see, there's not very much sparkle. I'm going to have to put like five coats on that to make that one match, but Hey, you know, we might build it up. We'll see. It's going to take a minute to, to get <laughs> enough sparkle on there to match. Hey, you know, it's LA colors, you know, you're, I mean, you get what you think for. Um, but it's also, uh, you know, sometimes cheap is exactly what you need. All right. Uh, other things I picked up, um, at our, not our Walmart. It's the one a little further away. Uh, going to work on your nails tomorrow. You know, I just, uh, I just, I need, well, no, actually, Elia, I don't need to spend more time on my nails. I, I need to spend more time on things that are, you know, life life changing and whatnot. Nails are not exactly, <laughs> uh, maybe I need to give up something else and, and do my nails. Um, you know, I could do them while I'm, maybe while I'm doing other things. There's not a lot of stuff that I'm doing that I would be able to work on my nails at the same time. Um, but I may like doing, um, lectures for classes, but I have to usually take notes for that. I'm trying to see if I can build up this nail polish to being somewhat opaque like the other one. We'll keep trying this for the video. I'll keep putting more coats and see how many coats. That's two coats. Um, it's not even anywhere close, but, you know, we'll see. Um, yeah, so the Walmart, not here, but the one next south to us, which is just on the outskirts of the of the city. Uh, we're in the St. Paul area, Minnesota. Mm. I just breathed in the chemical from that. <laughs> Um, oh, you know, I'm probably dying now. So they had these on sale on clearance. They have the other ones for like $2.99 also on clearance. These have been, um, $5, I think, $4.99. Uh, 
And I think that's why they haven't really sold. These are the Perfusion Cosmetics. Because most, like even high-end brushes are that much. Like $5 for a eye brush. Not all, not high-end, but like... Um, um, oh, what is... What's the other one that's... I can't think. Um, it's right on the tip of my tongue and I can't think of what it, what it is. But uh, there's other... Sonia Kasich. Kasich, Kasich? Um, her nails, her, her nails, her brushes are, are kind of along the same price. And, uh, so I think people are just not buying them because they're on the pricey side. But I've heard really good things. Um, FWD, H, my, D, T, W is with us. Eight reasons is with us. Um, Miss Charlie says, gonna start getting some reading started. I have a lot of books. To oh, girl, books. Books. I'm actually going to the Dominican Republic in part to retrieve a portion of my rather large library that's still in Haiti. Um, we're going to hopefully get somebody to meet us at the border and bring my books. Um, Mint Tea Makeup is with us. Welcome back to our party. So Perfusion Makeup, they have good stuff. They have affordable stuff, but I think they overpriced these guys. So these are their like professional um, volume eye brushes. I just grabbed two pro artistry brushes with what they are. Cruelty free and vegan synthetic uh, matte soft touch handle MUA approved. Okay, I don't know which MUA approved it, but somebody did. Uh, gives precise definition to the crease and blends out smaller areas. So just two smaller brushes. These are basically uh, like cross between a this this is kind of a fluffy brush slash a pencil brush. It's a little bit fluffier here at the end, but you're going to be able to do really nice detail work with that, which I which I think is cool. I have not tried, tried Sonia Kashuk anything because I'm too cheap. So that's what's kept me from buying these because they had really good recommendations. But I was like, for Perfusion, a $5 brush? But I saw them for $1.25 and I went, now you're speaking my language. Now we're at the Priscilla price line. By the way, we, the reason I'm late, um, it's my husband's fault because he likes to shop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not really his fault. Um, it's our fault because we like to shop. Sundays is our kind of our shopping time. And I told you last week that it, we, you know, it might be late again because now that he's not working as crazy as he is and we're getting ready for this trip. So there were some things that we needed to pick up. Like he needed a um, suitcase. He's in there packing right now. I'm going to have to pack after him. He actually was mostly packed, but he used my suitcase. He was packed a month ago because he was so excited about this trip. He's so funny like that. He sometimes he's like a little kid like that. Um, when he got his job at, at UPS, he, um, like a, it was like four or five days before. And he suddenly looked at me. He's like, baby, it's almost time for me to go to work. Like for his first day of work, he was so excited to have a job, um, when he first got to the U S and so he was like, baby, it's almost time for me to go to work. I'm like, yeah, in three days. <laughs> In all this time, we were thinking like 20 minutes, but yeah, it was kind of funny. Um, okay, so that uh, was the first one. Here's the second one. They're pretty similar in size. This one looks like a little bit more dense. Uh, yeah, this one's more like a pencil brush. Um, it holds its shape a bit more. So I don't need, a, need these packages. I wish they just like throw it in a bag and then, although, you know, Presentation is everything. So here's the two brushes. This is a lot more flimsy. Still, I mean, it's not flimsy, but this one's a lot more um, holding its shape, right? And then um, pretty similar, but this one's this one's just a little thinner than this one is. But this one, you know, again holds its shape a little bit more. So I think those are going to be great for kind of a cross between blending and a pencil brush. Um, like lower lash line work would be really great. And also I like to do sometimes some precise wing type stuff, blending out the top. This can be good. Burn the feeling is with us. Hi, burn the feeling. How are you? So I, it's possible. I might actually grab the other ones cause they have like two or three other, um, styles in the same line. And those were two 99. I think I just was like, I want to try these first and see, but I did think that these would be a very valuable addition because I don't really have much like that. I have one, uh, not that one. Um, I have one that's a little bit similar, but it's more blunt across the top. 
uh, do, 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 this one. Yeah. So this is from um, AOA Studio. And it's also a little bit wider. So these are a lot more precise. This is actually closer to... Um, not this one, this one. Um, this AOA Studio pencil brush. But this one is way precise. You see how pointy that one. And this one is a lot softer. So yeah, these, these definitely give me something in my collection that I did not have before. So if you have a chance to see those, and they might be on their website as well on, on clearance, I don't know. I, I mean, on the Perfusion website, they could also be on the Walmart uh, website, but $1.25 is not too shabby. And this is the nice Walmart, like everything was in, in decent shape and not broken and stuff like that. So it's kind of nice. They look really nice. They're, you know, they look really nice and professional and um, so it's an ES4 and ES6 is what I have here. I will pop those in my pack. I don't, I don't wash them before. Am I going to die of this or that? Or, yeah, I am. We're, we're all going to die. You know, enjoy life. Um, Peachy Pans. Peachy Pans is with us. Um, next from Perfusion also. This is the, what's this collection? I want to say Gilmore Girls. Is that right? I don't know. What's the one with all the plaid? Um, that brush set they had. I, I, yeah, I don't remember what it was. So it was six ninety eight for three, which is still not bad. But now it's down to two forty four, so they're less than a buck a piece. So yeah, those are coming home with me. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I was saying we were late because we went uh, on a little shopperoo. Uh, and before Walmart, we stopped at um, Marshall's, and I saw the ABH, I forgot, but I took a picture of it, so I'll post that later, um, palette for 20 bucks, and what one was it? It's right there on the top of my, in the tip of my tongue, the top of my head. I can't think of what it is. And I also saw the... Um, it's like the grungy yellowy one. So if you guys think of what that is, let me know and I'll tell you if it's right. The, uh, Venus something from Lime Prime, the, again, the grungy blue, it's like, there's blues and yellows in it, I think. Um, that one was $7. So I was tempted. Should I go back? They're in Clarence. Do I need them? $27 for two palettes that were not on my wish list. I don't know. So these are stubby. Um, but I think I'm actually going to take these to the Dominican Republic with me because look how teeny tiny they are. And that might be all I need. You got a nice big fluffy one, um, which is kind of, you know, among the fluffier ones that I have. Um, which could be just great for, you know, general blending. And then you've got this little, they're not, they're not super precise. Right? These are also from Profusion. Um, and yeah, so this is like a flattened sort of domed with a little point. I don't know. Well, you know, it's, it's not really, I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, these are weird brushes, but they'll work. They'll be fine. And then a little kind of flat, more detailed brush. Uh, was, is the Venus XL palette not, no, it's an XL. It's no, this is the, this is a small one. The little nine pan or eight pan, eight pan. Yeah. Because it's two rows of four. <coughs> anyway, I, I popped them open and looked at them. I'm, maybe I'll get them. Should I get them? Do I need them? I kind of, do I need them? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I go back? I uh, love TJ Maxx. We'll hit up this weekend. Got a lime kind palette from TJ Maxx. Was it the same one that I'm talking about, Miss Charlie? The, um, with the yellows and greens and that sort of thing. That color story. I feel like those would be really nice for summer. Because of that kind of grungy sort of thing. Aren't they cute? They're teeny tiny. I'll show you in comparison to the other ones. That's the size difference. Right? Cute. So I think I'll just bring these. That's probably all I need for the DR. Um, you know, just rinse them off and, and let them dry and use them the next next day. I think that'll work. That's probably all I need for travel. 
Um, not bad for less than a, less than a dollar a brush. All right. So that's going to go in my pack. I think uh, Wednesday I might show you guys actually what I'm going to pack. You guys want to see that? Here's the state of my elf order. The state of my elf order is that Pedex sucks. Yes, I got one of the Venus Charm and I got another one, I think, in T TJ Maxx. I think. So this was at Marshall's where I saw the other ones. I know a lot of the, they have a lot of crossover, but not, um, you know, it's not all crossover. So this is coat number three. Uh, it's starting to build up like, this looks like what a first coat should be. <laughs> so it looks like six or seven coats. I might get it somewhat similar. That's what we're on. I'm trying to make this side look like this side. <laughs> uh, you know, whatever. We'll see. We'll see if I get there. All right, stick this in here because that's that's wandered away. I just everything is everything is a jar around here. It's it, it's all good. It's all good. Life goes on. All right, now for the reason you all joined me. No, actually, the reason you all joined me is because I'm here and because you love me and I love you. Um, smart to pack inexpensive brushes and makeup that you gently lose them or whatever. It won't hurt your feelings. Exactly. Um, you are exactly tr right, trite, not trite, but right. I was going to say exactly true. And then I was like, that doesn't make sense. So, um, I've shown you guys some of the ones that I'm looking at bringing. I was thinking of possibly this coral from uh, essence. I just think that this would be a great one to have in the tropics. I mean, how perfect for sunshiny time. Um, possibly the elf mint one. I don't love it, but you know, it's, it's okay. I've used this Viziar on a trip already. But I do like, again, that orangey coral sort of thing. I'm just thinking tropical. But this one is a cheap one from um, from NYX. Um, peaches and purples. And they're all pretty pretty light and fun. And it's super cheap. I was also thinking of this one from Natasha Denona. I haven't decided if I'm going to bring that one or not. Um, that was a you know, $10 palette from, from um, Boxy. So I'm not, you know... I'm not that in love with it, but <clears throat> I also haven't used it uh, for sure. So I need to bring three palettes because it will be that period of time. Yeah, that's how many I'm going to get through. Extended forecast for Dominican Republic. I have not checked the extended forecast for Dominican Republic. Is there a reason I should? Um, uh, is they're gonna, are they going to have a... Um, hurricane? That would suck. Okay, so I use this palette um, for three days. This is the Truffles one. It is really beautiful. It does get a little bit muddy um, because of this, this black. And that might just be me because I'm not being precise enough with it. But I do, I, this shimmer is really beautiful. And I also really enjoyed blending it, combining it, not necessarily blending it. And I'll in the ones that I did that, when I post the, the looks for this, I'll actually, I'll be showing these two together. So you'll see which ones I've used both of them. Um, this is the Jungle Lights palette. Stunning, wonderful, beautiful. I'm putting this in my monthly basket because it's so stinking cute. Um, I might bring this down with me too. I don't know. I'm trying not to pack. That's why I want little, little palettes. I try not to pack too much. Um, but this is in my, it's supposed to be in my monthly basket. It clearly was not. Um, but this is really nice. It's basic. It's not, you know, it's not anything to, you know, have a, have a connection about or anything like that. I, you know, but it's, it's nice. Um, uh, and then this is the one that I used yesterday and today. So, um, what is on my eyes right now, let me take these glasses off so you can see. Um, I was feeling the teal because it's in my glasses along the pink is in the glass, you know, the purple in the hair. Ah, see, we're all coordinated. Um, Kaleos Futurism palette. And this is number, which one? Five. Electro Turquoise. So cute. So pretty. So cute. Um, and, and you you can actually make a, despite the fact that this is very turquoise and you're going to have a turquoise look each time, you really can do quite a bit of stuff. You can also, and tomorrow, tomorrow I think I'm going to do more of a neutral 
with the orange, the brown, and this um, neutral shimmer here, um, which is actually kind of a lime sort of sort of color. So yeah, really pale lime. Really, really cute. Very pretty. Very unique. Like it a lot. It it does the performance. I'm. It takes a minute to blend out. It's not as great with the blending as some. Um, but yeah, I also wanted to check and see how my, yeah, see so, you now nothing is, uh, really creased there's a tiny bit of creasing, but that, you know, oh, and with this much time, that's kind of expected. I'm not having a problem with the creasing unless I use this other primer, this M2U or some, whatever it is. Yeah. M2U primer that I got in Ipsy. That one's creasing like all over the place. So I'll try it a little bit more, and then if it just doesn't work, I'll probably just toss it because I have enough primers, um, eye primers. There's no reason to keep them that just is not working, which because my eyes are so hooded and oily, I need something that keeps them from creasing. Most primers do it. I can get a $1 primer from um, from uh, Shop Masse, and that does it. So I have that Kaleos palette on my calendar for tomorrow. Oh, yay! We can be... We can be twins. We can be twinning. Um, yeah, that, that that palette is really pretty. Okay. So, all right. The reason that you are all here. I'm going to show you my glasses collection. And we're going to talk about my new glasses. So I got a new prescription from the eye doctor at Target because that's what our insurance covers and they were close. And so I decided to go there um, and I can, I could get a quick appointment. So we did that. Um, let's try coat number four and see how that one does. Um, and my distance hasn't changed too much, but I knew that I was needing a two, um, a, 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 I want, don't want to say double vision. Well, how do you say it? Two, pre two prescriptions, one for nearsightedness, one for reading, and one for being nearsighted. Um, try, try cream shadows. It's the base for oily lids, too. I have two coming from e.l.f. I'm going to try those and see how they work. Uh, and I have actually tried some from Shop Masse. They're cream shadows. They dry out so fast. I need to get some of that stuff to put in to try to, to keep I do like there's a yellow one that I really like to use in the summertime uh paint pots from mac i have not tried those yet but i've heard great things of course because they've been viral for a minute so yeah number four it's getting closer it's closer um okay what were we saying oh i went to the eye doctor uh so i just basically i need my focus my the rest of my prescription hasn't changed a lot but it paid it changed just enough that now at zenny things are a little bit higher priced but at uh, pain glasses, they are not really that much increased. So um, Hubs is going to be probably making some lunch. So if you hear noise, we're living life. All right. So I'm going to tell you what I put in my uh, every month, not every month, every season for my glasses because I got a lot. I got, this is not my whole collection. This is uh, maybe a quarter of them. Um, maybe not even. Yeah, probably about a quarter of them. Uh, I pick out the, the glasses that I want to use for that season and it's a fun way. Oh, I just touched my, my nail that is still wet. <coughs> Color tattoos from Maybelline. I have not used those. I got the, the brow tattoo, um, gel is awful. And that kind of made me anything at Maybelline tattoo makes me kind of freak out. I do like Maybelline though. So, um, I might try those though, because I know Maybelline's affordable. So I, what am I thinking for glasses for winter? Well, I like things. I like two different things. I like bright, um, jewel tones, uh, which is what I'm wearing. And I also like really muted sort of smoky, dusty sort of colors, depending on the mood that I'm in today. Clearly I was in the jewel tone mood because these ones are amazing. So I also like purples and reds, greens, blues anything that's cool tone love cool tones for it go more for silvers these red ones they needed to be in here because with the whole um christmas thing they just i mean they're great these are any pair they were uh, i think a 6.95 pair um actually cost 6.95 with the lenses 
These are my old prescription, um, but I can still wear these just fine. Um, yeah, I'll go through these and then I'll show you the new glasses. You're seeing the ones on my face, but other than that, I'll show you those. Um, next pair is, and, and those are like a square pair. I do, cat eye I, is probably the most attractive look for me, but square is also nice because it kind of emphasizes the more roundness uh, of my face. So, um, yeah. Uh, so these cat eyes are adorable. I love these because they're like a smoky lavender. And then that that inner tone is green. But you see, it depends on how you turn it, you see whether they're lavender or green. They're so cool. And they're so subtle, but they're so cute. Look how adorable these are. They're These are from Zenny as well. Old prescription. Everything's going to be old prescription except for my new one. Ma95 is with us. Welcome to the party. Do you guys wear glasses? Um, do you tr If you do use glasses, do you get them online? Um, I'm very curious. Now, these are actually from my very first Zenny order ever. And I'm sentimental about these because to me, they feel like something I would have picked out when I was 13. I think they're so cute, but kind of funky and old and, and retro and whatnot. So they have the pink in the middle, and then they have that that grayish blue on the outside. Um, and then they have these like little grommet detail on the side, which is kind of, you know, steampunk. Um, they're just cute. And then there's, of course, the super, I should put these on too, so you can see them all. So the super narrow profile. And I love this. This is like, you know, so many years I had super, I had like half this thin glasses that I loved. Uh, by Cat Miller is with us. Hi, back by Cat Miller. We're looking at glasses that I'm using for the, for the winter time, um, and they're so much fun, and I love them. So these are, I just like them. They're cute. They're fun. They're different. Um, they're they're not new at all, but they're you know they're I these are some I don't think I've ever gotten compliments on these, but they're just they're just fun. I'm gonna actually put these other ones on that I just showed you so that you can see what they all look like on me. So these are the cat eyes with the green and the, and the lavender. And that's what they look like. They're pretty subtle, but they just give you that teeny tiny bit of lavender and green. And I just, that's my favorite combination is purple and green. So um, uh, TJ Brown 8, hey, hey, beautiful too. TJ Brown says, hey, beautiful. So I said, hey, beautiful back. Um, <coughs> and then the, the red ones that I showed you. And again, I'm coughing because I've had bronchitis since July and I just got sick again. So now my bronchial tubes are like, what in the world, girl? So I'm drinking my fake emergency. So the red ones, um, these are, again, they kind of emphasize the roundness and the previous thin, thin ones. Yeah, those thin ones, that, that was a really, really popular thing for a long time. And I think they're cute. The thing right now, one of the great things about the, the days we're living in is that anything is okay. If you wear it with confidence, um, you can wear anything. And nobody's, you know, nothing's really out of fashion. Even the things that are out of fashion are trending it back in. So, all right. So the next pair, uh, this is also, I think these are Zenny. No, oh, these are pain, pain glasses. Um, these are purple and red look at that so i just think these are so great for winter they're also great for fall that combination is a great fall combination and i love it um these are like you know boss babe sort of glasses in my opinion because they're just enough fun but they're they're just yeah aren't they cute um pain glasses i definitely recommend these are a little tight on the temples and that's the thing with these is sometimes you'll get like different measurements, but for the most part, I don't have any problems with the wear on any of these. There are very few glasses that I've ordered, none from Zen and none from Pain Glasses that are not still in my rotation. Um, there are some from um, I Buy Direct. There's one pair from I Buy Direct that I don't really use anymore. <coughs> and there's a couple from Wear Light. Yes. Um, so this one is from wear light and I actually accidentally got two pairs of this. Well, they sent me two because they messed, they didn't, the order went back to them or something like that. And then I ended up getting both orders. Um, but one has the, this one has a tortoise all on the outside and the other one has 
like it's missing from the inside part of it, which is funny that they're different. But uh, other than that, they're exactly the same. So these are, uh, I feel like these are very, they're the warm side of winter. So when you start getting a little bit sassy with the, I mean, these are, these are kind of statement glasses. They're also, these are framing glasses. If you kind of see these goes all the way up to my eyebrows. So mostly hide my eyebrows, but with this, I can do like more of a, um, something crazy on the eyes because there's not a lot of color in here. It's just the, the tortoise. And so, um, I can do something really fun on the eyes and you're going to see the whole thing. If I've got those really thin ones, those are more an extension of it. So sometimes what I'll do with it is I'll actually put like the pink on the inside and the the blue on the outside on my eye look to mirror the glasses so that it looks like the glasses are like kind of like eyeliner. Um, so there's basically, that's two ways of categorizing glasses. If you want to figure out how to wear makeup with them, um, figure out if they are an extension of your eye look or if they're a frame for your eye look, because it's basically going to be one or the other. And it depends on size. It depends on, on shape. It depends on the, um, the uh, color it, and, and your coloring as well. And it depends on um, thickness. Um, yeah. So these, these ones are, I would kind of call these a frame as well because they do sit pretty high. So they pretty much show all the, the lid space. Um, but these are just fun. These are I'm, I want to say these are paid glass. These might be wear light. These are either wear light. Have anything else like this? They're just, these are fabulous. These are definitely retro. Um, I, I like them. I don't wear these enough. I think I've only, ha I wore them a few times and then I put them away while I pulled out new season um, rotation. So I'll be really glad to wear those a few times during the winter. Hi, kitty. Kitty and puppy are down here. Kitty's like stalking around dog and she's just like ignoring her. Um, okay, these ones are definitely frames. They're way big and you can do oversized glasses, but one of the ways to do that is make sure your eye look is big. So black and white, grays, that sort of thing are pretty much, you know, you can wear those anytime, but you see how big these are, right? Um, they're, they're all the way, I, I could actually have put my hair back and you can see a little bit better. Um, but they're not too overwhelming, but what you want to do with this, again, you want to make sure that the, that especially with this probably use like a wing liner so that it kind of mimics what's going on here. And then, um, with this, I mean, it, this would work really well for like, even like, um, drape blush because of the way it shows so much of the area and it really frames. So you can do a ton of stuff on the eye and then, um, yeah, and this is basically, a, this is a, a splashed, so it's like a paint splash pattern on clear lenses just with black paint. Essentially, it is what that is. So it almost looks like a tortoise sort of pattern, but it's not exactly a tortoise. They're actually too big for these. I've got them in an I buy direct box because what I do is, it's funny because my friend was like showing me her glasses. She's like, I got two pairs of glasses and look how scratched up they are because she keeps them in her car. And I'm like, I wear my glasses all the time. Um, because I just, I can't see well enough without them. And so every, <clears throat> every morning I pick them up from the, um, from the, from the end table, put them on my face, jump in the shower after the shower, I have to do my skincare, everything. And then I rinse them off with water and I carry them into the, to the closet where I have the shoe box. I also have my, the drawers down below that have, are full of the rest of the collection. And then I pick the next pair. I wipe them off while they're still a little bit damp so that I'm getting the stuff off. I don't use any, any lens cleaner, but I do use the microfiber cloths that they come with <coughs> because all of these come with microfiber, microfiber cloths. Um, and I keep those cloths folded right in here. Uh, this is actually a wear light one, right? Yeah. Um, with, I think these are pain glasses, um, which I'll show you next. And then the wear light cases are pretty cheap. Um, but that's okay. Cause I'm not paying for, I'm not paying for, for cases. I'm paying for the glasses. I just fold it right in there like that. And then I put them face down right on there so that the microfiber protects it and there's no scratches. So mine do not get damaged. Um, 
unless somebody would smack me in the face or something like that. So this is another tortoise shell. And these are such a beautiful color scheme. So it's, you got teal, you've got like a peach, uh, almost like a flesh tone peach. Then there's, so the, the, the teal is translucent. And then you've got a, like a lavender right here. And then you've got like a, um, a purplish brown color, like almost a mauve, a darker mauve. And this peach is almost like an orange peach. Um, so it's just a really quite summery to me. To me, it's more wintry because it's a little cooler, but it does give a little bit of color for the winter to just make it a little fun. Linda, uh, Linda Zerst again. Sorry, I have problems saying that last time too, but welcome. So yeah, so these are really classic shape of being extension of your eye look and being a frame. They are still kind of a frame. Um, and it also depends on what's going on with them. So with this, I probably would want to accent one of the colors in here and put that on my eyes. So what I'm wearing right now, it would actually work really well. <coughs> I would wear these with this look. So how's it going, Linda? Do you wear glasses? I'm showing off my glasses that I'm wearing for winter time. Why I'm selecting them for winter. Okay. Here's one from Wear Light. Wear Light tends to have cheaper, cheaper quality. Um, the price is about the same, but cheaper quality glasses, but these were just too fun and funky and costumey. And I love them. They just make me feel so fabulous and like a theater major or something like that when I wear them. So this is what they look like. Crazy little cat eyes with the rhinestones on the side. They're black. They fit a little bit weird together where you see this is kind of stuck out. Um, they're plastic, so they're not great quality and you can kind of see that, but they're so cute on, I mean, can you even talk to me right now? You can't. You can't. Except to say they look awesome. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> um, yeah, aren't they cute? And I like this low profile. Now, this is definitely an extension of the eye look, right? You see how that works? It just makes it look like this is basically kind of like the eyeliner. So if you do something, you can kind of blow out the color in the eye, um, whatever color you want to use on the eye, and then Use this almost as your mascara, or I'm sorry, mascara, your aligner. But you can't do anything like a, you know, very extravagant with like a wing liner or anything like that. So I would just do kind of color all on the top, down a little bit. Um, and if you don't have as many lines as I can, you can do more on the bottom. Uh, Silver Witch is here. Hi, Silver Witch. How are you? 1966. That would make you, if that's your birth year, nine years older than me. So... We had one that was five years younger than me and nine years older than me. So that's great. We've got a really good range of lovely ladies here. Mm. Ooh, I keep smelling this thing every time I do that because it ends up being right next to my nose. And then it's really strong. But I'm making these colors pretty close. My husband's trimming his nose hairs. I get him a nose hair tr trimmer from... Uh, from uh, uh, TJ Maxx, I think, Marshalls or TJ Maxx or one of those, um, and that I didn't get him batteries. So that was in a stocking because I was like, he's always like pulling them out. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that makes my eyes water to watch it. So anyway, but aren't these cute? They're so fun. They're so cute. They're so retro. They're so adorable. So yeah, I know nose hair trimming. Isn't it fun? I haven't had a problem with that. I do have one that like stuck out there once and now it's just, oh, I haven't been seeing it. Maybe other people are seeing it. Don't you hate when you like end up like with something weird on your face and you go all day and you're like, why did nobody tell me that? I have no friends. Nobody would tell, you know, if I had friends, they would tell me that I have like something crazy on me. And so white people, I'm telling you, white people don't tell people when they have something on them. They're like, I didn't want to do that. I felt weird telling you like you're preserving your own dignity at the expense of mine. What in the world? See, that's why I like everybody. Up okay. Just about everybody other than white people will tell you have got if you've got boogers on your face. I'm just saying. Or nose hairs. Most people won't say nose hairs because that's like a physical appearance thing, not like upkeep. So, I mean, people are going to be like, hey, did you know you have facial hair? Yeah, I know I have facial hair. That's why there's stubble because I shave it. Mm, whatever. These glasses, oh my goodness. So apparently Zenny is no longer offering their tinting. They do sunglasses, but they don't, don't do the fashion tints which make me sad. And also it appears that pain glasses are no longer doing it either. So I wonder if there's a problem with tints. Hi, baby girl. How are you? Did you come to say my, hi to mama? Yeah. She's over here going, burr, burr. um, 
Look at these glasses. Aren't those stinking adorable? So they're silver. They don't have nose pads. This guy here just kind of rusts on the nose. Um, it does make it a little weird because then I end up with a line across here, but oh, cute, who cares? They bit, and it actually is nice in the, in the winter time because they give just enough. If you're driving in the winter and you know about um, snow blindness, it can really be blinding after a snow and the sun hits the snow. I mean, this can give you just enough of a shadow to kind of help with that. Or people waxing nose hair that must hurt. I've seen that, like people go in there and then they like the thing breaks off and I'm like, can you imagine just having that thing stuck in your nose for like a week or whatever? Um, yes. You, oh, see, Miss Charlie, you're a real friend because you will tell me if I have boogers on my face or something. Those glasses are stunning. Uh, I assume you meant these, aren't they? Cute. Cute. I actually got these because there was a plan to have a wedding um, after five years of our marriage. And uh, so I got the dress and a really cute jacket because it's in October is our anniversary. L Williams is here. Hi, L Williams. 1225. I'm assuming you weren't because that would make you a little bit older than me. Anyway. Um, oh, apparently I forgot to put, I forgot to put a garbage, garbage bag back in the, in the garbage can when I took the garbage out. Um, but yeah, so I actually thought these would be great wedding glasses for an outdoor like wedding shoot. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be cute in October? And the, the dress is like a strapless um, uh, lace. And then the jacket is like a full leather white with lace on it. Crochet lace. It's so cute. Ash's top shelf is with us. Ashes. I think it's ashes or ash. But I think it's ashes. Top shelf, welcome. Um, but yes, I love these. I think they're so stinking cute. I need to take more pictures than these. These are Zenny. This is still available. They have them in gold and they have them in black. But they are just the cutest stinking things. You need to have these in your life. They're like $15, I think. Maybe, maybe $20. Um, and for single vision, um, you're not really paying any extra for your lenses unless you have a, like a really strong prescription and for bifocals, I don't get those in bifocals. There's none of them. I actually made that mistake and I'll show you the one that I did. This is my first time ordering then not bifocals. There's like the no line bifocals. Um, yeah. Blues and greens. Great for summer. Great for winter, depending on what you're looking at, but these are nice and icy. So this is a uh, gr great. Oh, what is it? I can't even tell. Uh, gray to green to blue. Yeah. So it's gray on the top, green in the middle, and blue on the bottom. So cute and so different than anything else I have. They're not going to stand out, but they're just really cute. And if you're doing greens and blues, um, it just gives you enough color. I like stuff like this that you can kind of wear anytime. You might notice also I have some that have anti glare and some that don't. So that will show on the how the ring light flashes in it um but yeah there are just i like just to have ace but i also have roundedness and so either round or rectangle looks good and also um uh cat eye looks great because it's just that shape just works for me most cat eye um another tinted pair so last year the color of the year was supposed to be yellow and um gray and i got these in honor of that uh, they look a little bit like like um, work goggles, but when you do these right and you put the right makeup with them, they're so cute. Um, forgotten Hoard. Uh, speaking of Forgotten Hoard, I'm going through my glasses, Hoard. I uh, love the gradient in the frame. Yes, the green to blue to gray, or gray to green to blue. That was really pretty. So I really like how you could do these sort of things. Again, they kind of look like maybe safety, safety goggles, but they're just fun. And um, if you do them the right way, with this kind of thing, because of you can't really see the color, and you see the color will really change what happens underneath. So with that, um, I just go for kind of more bold, whatever it is. Uh, shimmer will show through, usually depending on the on the tint. And these are just tinted. Um, and again, I don't think Zenny does it anymore. These are a little tight on the edges. Edges. Uh, these are Zenny, but they're super cute. 
Um, yeah, just a translucent gray frame. I have another pair of gray frames that are, I get a lot of compliments on too, but they're bigger than these. Um, but I don't, I didn't tint those. But then I was like, maybe I should tint those. And then I did. <coughs> and I like them. I don't wear them all the time, but I do like them. And also that yellow, even though it's just a yellow tint, it's not like the blue light blocker, but apparently it's supposed to block blue light too. And it does, I notice if I'm on the computer, it does kind of help, help my eyes to relax, but you're not supposed to use them all the time. This one, I didn't show you the whole thing because I don't know where it is. I think it's in another purse that I packed away and I never brought out once we moved from the other place. <laughs> These are actually sunglasses. There's a magnet on here and here, and it just snaps on. And it's kind of the, the top part is actually more of a, a aviator style so it's really kind of cute but look at this um look at this uh tortoise so it's um white and black and purple such a interesting color scheme and of course you know me and my purple love so these are actually going to come to the dr with me because i need some sunglasses while i'm there so i will be bringing these with and these are all just distance all of these ones are distance I want more. You were hearing that too. What were you hearing? Oh, clipping their nails. Yes, you are actually correct. Wow, you guys, hear, you can hear everything here. We got to be careful. I know um, there's been like, you know, bathroom trips and stuff like that that have happened too. So now you probably hear the cereal being opened because, you know, somebody needs a snack. Not me. It's okay. You know, life is happening. We're doing life. Oops, let me move this down. Ah, oh, ah. Okay, come on. Come on. I changed something. Okay. Love the, okay. We we're already back there. Let me move down here. Um, I want more glasses. I love them. Yes. See, you gotta, you gotta do that. Zenny and pain glasses. Those are my favorite. Um, oh, oh, the purple. Yes. The purple is great. It's great. It's wonderful. It's fabulous They're And they look really, you know, they look really classy, but they look modern classy because they are the timeless. Um, I mean, classy, what does that mean? They're the timeless uh, tortoise, but then they have like, um, you know, a more modern twist on them. So I will be taking these with me because they are the sunglasses. I also, for the first pair, the red pair, I have a clip that fits that. And it might clip one, one might fit another pair too. It also fits a teal pair. That's the same, that's the same model as those. <coughs> I don't think I'll probably bring either one of the tinted ones, although I could use the yellow ones, the gray and yellow. I'll have to decide which one, which ones I'm going to bring with me. Um, cause I only have so much space and glasses do take up space. So, um, yeah. Next. All right. You are not complete unless you have at least one pair of clear lenses. These are really popular on IG, uh, a year or so ago. And that's that little like diamond cut or crystal cut. Um, they're still popular, but they're not as many. But I just thought these were so cute when I saw them on because they just look so sparkly and extra. These are definitely along the lines of wedding glasses, too. Um, but I think they're just, they frame the, they're like jewelry for your face. My eye prescription changes often. Do you, have you tried Zenny or um, Pain? Because I recommend Um yeah, that's, that's where I've gotten most of these. Most of them, I would say the average is $12 or $15 for the, the average price of everything you'll see in here except for the new the new prescription because of the being the two prescriptions. I have to see what's going on over here. Oh, open the sewing machine that I got for my birthday that I never opened. Um, but I need to do that because I've got a couple things I need to sew. Anyway, yeah, and I you see how this kind of sets off the look underneath. So definitely a frame. You can You're focusing on the eye look instead of on the glasses, but then you're noticing that the glasses are cute too. So, um, yeah, these are, these are just really pretty. They're just, they're, they're pretty, they're, they're girly, they're elegant. Um, great for dressy. Um, but I like, you know, they're crystally and they're like icy and I feel like that's so great in the winter time. And they're also, they're cat eye, but they're squared cat eye. And that's kind of the best of all worlds since I like the, um, I tend to like rectangle or they're not square, they're, rec they're rectangle, but um, they're squared off. Yeah. So, 
And now, and I love these ones. These are so fun. So I wore these, I think, in the, my last or the one before that um, live. So these are actually um, eggplant purple because, you know, you can't go wrong with eggplant purple. Um, and I like, you know, colors that kind of almost look like they're black so that they look really basic and they can kind of go with anything, but not quite. And these have that just little bit of glitz right here with the little rhinestones. Um, these are dirty, really dirty. I'm going to clean all these. Um, but you see the little rhinestones right there on the corner. And then they got the cat eye going on. And they're just so simplistic and cute and fun and whatnot. What are you going to sew for me, love? You going to sew something? Probably figure out what's going on with that so we can do some work on some clothes that need to be fixed. Last from my existing, these are what I wore yesterday. Look at these. Speaking of frames, lavender, wire framed, but with a lavender paint. So that's actually a paint on the, on the frame. They're like a free form. Um, so they're not like a direct, I mean, you see, they're not like super square. They're kind of like a kid drew a square sort of thing. Um, which I think is so fun because they have that little wave to them. They're just, these are so cute. Look how cute these are. When I saw them, I knew I needed, needed these in my life. And, and again, a frame and they really, these really open everything up. So they're not going to take away from your eye look, but they'll really, you can put almost any color and it's going to really um, work together on here. So I'll help you with that when I'm done here, love. Because you can try to use, how, use the sewing machine. We'll see. We'll see what gets sewn. Maybe there'll be a quilt here later. Who knows? All right. So I'm going to put these back in here. I should probably put these glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Um, everything is dirty. So i got to remember. Man, different prescription. I'm so used to the ones, these old ones. So... I'm using an old shoe box to put them in because that's what we do. And I try to keep, um, it's basically I put them in the, the back and I take them from the front. That's my pattern. So, um, so that I'm rotating through. So in a season I should rotate through this three or four times. And that keeps me from getting bored, which is exactly what I need in my life. Because I need variety. Variety is the spice of life, y'all. All right, so you can see what I've already gotten. Um, my prescription is not extreme, but they came in this cute little bag. <coughs> um, that says Zenny on it and has a bunch of fun little colorful eyeglasses on it. <coughs> I took, I already opened everything. So these, they just give you this and that has like a, you know, on there for your prescription. Um, Travis. 56 Gmail. No, Tavris. Tavris, sorry. Uh, I put an R where it didn't belong. They always give you this like Karen for your glasses sort of thing. Um, this is supposed to be like the, the lenses would go in here, but they never do that anymore. They just pack these separately. And then each of them came with this little PD reader, which is the pupillary distance that tells you how far apart your pupils are, which is important for them to measure so that they know <clears throat> they know your frames. Um, I'm sorry, your lenses. I got um, anti-glare on three, I think. Maybe on four. I might have gotten all four. Um, I kind of went a little bougie on this. Everything was $220 was the price. And I did the four pay because I can. Um, so if I would have gotten these from Target, first of all, they would have been as cute. They would have been really boring and basic, which, you know, it's fine. Whatever. I, if you do, do boring and basic, that's up to you. But I would have not been able to have the variety that I have. Dragon King daughter is with us. Welcome. Say hi to your daddy, the king, the king of dragon. Um, and so... Uh, they sent me this little pack, this little pouch, which I'll probably bring with because I think I can put the sunglass, um, top in that part. So I'll probably bring those when I go. Um, one of these I got with the higher, 
the thickness, basically the thickness. We're talking about glasses, and I love the glasses that you have in your picture. Where did you get them? You must tell me now so I can buy them. Are they prescription? Because if they're not prescription, then I can't use them. Anyway, they come with the same case that the other ones were in that I've been showing you. They've had the same case for a while because I've ordered all mine from there. Um, these, <coughs> one pair is thinner. The other ones are just regular um, for the for the thickness. So you can get the, the frame, the, I'm sorry, the, the lens thinned out. Um, Valley Wear Prescription app. Eh, I don't know. Is where's Valley Wear? Is that the like a local store? Or is that online? Because if it's online, maybe I could do it. I do cheap, but I like them. They're cute. Um, I, I like red. Red is a as a fun color. All right. So these this pair I've got. Oh, sorry, my my tie came undone. How embarrassing. Um, okay. Uh, Valley Wear. Let me look up Valley Wear right now because I can because my computer's and V A L L E Y wear glasses. Let's see if I can look that up. Um, and then I'm going to actually, uh, let me see if I can pull up my Zenny or so I can show you what I've got. I am. Um, and IG turn this up to YouTube because I have some people on there too um, that like to check me out. And especially with Zenny um, and any eyeglass videos, they tend to really like those. So uh, let me log in here real quick because I want to show you what I got in each one, get the specifics, and it lets you know the prices because that will tell you if you've got, if you have like two prescriptions, you'll get a better idea. And I'll show you what I went with and what I didn't go with. So I might have to actually pick up my phone here for a second because it's sitting on my keyboard and it might be affecting how my keyboard's reading. So my computer's going super slow. Hopefully that doesn't mean that my video is going to be like lagging super. It does a lot of times on here. I need a, I need a different computer. My computer's old. And that's the problem with computers. A computer can be a few years old and it's like an antique. It's completely obsolete. So not completely, but you know what I mean. It's not like a car you can keep for 20 years. Um, wow, that's really going slowly. All right, we're going to let that that pull up. So, yeah, so two, so basically more or less $55 a pair. Um, and I got them in a little under a week. A little under two weeks. I'm off early tomorrow morning. Have a great day. God bless. You too. Okay, let me get out of here. Yeah, this is going way slow. So not, it doesn't normally go this slowly, but okay. My orders, pulling up this order. Doo, 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 doo. I know you guys are, are wiggling and stuff like that because I actually am holding you in my hand. Well, I'm trying to pull this off. Uh, Linda is um, on the other side of the world, so she has to adhere to different night times than the rest of us over on the Western Hemisphere. Um, it's kind of fun talking to people all over the world. So I have my people that, that pop in here periodically. I've been, you know, it used to be that I was watching a lot more YouTube videos. I almost never watch YouTube videos anymore. I just don't have time for it. And now actually there's a couple of shows that I've been watching on Hulu. So when I have a time, that's what I do. My husband will, will, uh, tease my dog and like pretend he's eating and be like, until she'll come and ask for food. He thinks it's so funny. He's such a, he's such a, he's such a funny guy. He likes to tease with her. Why are you acting weird? Why? Okay. All right. It's trying to sign in. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I think it's because this is my, my phone was on there. So sorry, you guys are going to kind of wiggle around a little bit while we, while we get through the end of here, but such as life. Cause I do want to actually tell you actually what I got and for how much so that, you know, when you order kind of what you're looking at and it will depend by, by, uh, prescription, but all of the other glasses that I got, unless I got an anti-glare or, 
uh, any add-ons like the clip or um, sunglasses or anything like that, then I paid the actual price with my previous um, prescription. I keep wanting to call it a subscription. That's not what it is. So, um, and there's also a reward system now that they have on Zenny. They didn't used to have that. So let's see my Zenny, my orders. It always brings me to Zenny rewards. I don't, why, why is it that when I want to go to my, to my orders, it brings me to Zenny rewards. Can you tell me that Zenny? Okay. I'm going to put the camera right here. Whoops. I can't put it there. I can't balance it. Okay. never mind. I'm trying to hold it. So order date, December 24th. So I ordered this on um, December 24th and they arrived two days ago. Um, so view details. I'm going to pull up the details so that I can tell you everything. The total was 228.65, um, <coughs> with taxes and shipping and everything. I think shipping was free and yeah, so they do the PayPal like for pay and they also have a couple other ones too, I think. Um, okay. So let's go to the ones on my face. The ones on the, my face were $29.95 is the regular price of these. So their, their lens, or sorry, the frames are from $6.95, normal price $6.95 on up to around $30 or so. Some are a little bit more than that, but most are um, between those. They have not really added a lot of the $6.95 glasses. They still have quite a few, but they're, they're the older sort of thing. But they do have a really a lot of really nice ones that are in the $15 range and that sort of thing. Carlos Luna is with us. Hello, Carlos. How are you doing? All right. So the ones on my face, um, they are the progressive. Of course, all four of these pairs, I've got four. Um, all four of these are progressive. Just FYI, I've got a minus four and minus four um, spherical. So they can compare that to what you have. And then my the um, reader part is plus 150. So compare that to what you have. Um, so you can see what the price is. So the frame price was $29.95. That's just the standard price of the frame. The lens, I got the 1.57 digital free form progressive, no line multifocal. So that 1.57 is the thickness of the actual lens and the higher the number the thinner it is um and it's not high you know it's like by a few decimal points um if you don't know what that is I, if you know what that is sorry if i'm explaining something to you i also got the anti-reflection so you see um there's a little bit of the glare but the rest of it there's no, not as much glare with these um so these were 62.85 the total amount of these particular glasses was 62.85 that I paid. So let's put these down. Next pair. Oh, right now I can't see anything. Um, the next pair is the one that I got all the fancy stuff on. Ooh, it's making me dizzy. Rainbow's got to drink her water. Um, so these are so cute. I told you I like red. So these are like a little half frame. Uh, they're frameless or rimless at the top and they are cat eye, but they're just the, the it's just the actual lens. That is the cat eye shape. They're wire rimmed, right? Wire, yeah. They are. Um, I don't think. Yeah, these are not a hin, a, a spring, whatever you call that. Um, but they're just flexible enough that they don't matter. They're super lightweight, very comfortable on the edge here with these little rolly things. Um, give me all the car. Give me all. Oh, give me all the cat eye frames. Okay, yes. Uh, yeah. I. I mean, these are just. These are another boss, boss babe, um, pair that red is just like such a power, uh, power color, but these are definitely frames of the eye. So you could do anything on your eye here. Cause the whole eyebrow, everything is going to show. So, I mean, I don't do much with the eyebrows. I don't really care that much, but if you're into your eyebrow game, mm -hmm, these are great because you, everything is up there. Everything is going to be, um, shown on the top and now they can kind of droop a little bit the face because of this shape and everything is down here but i don't find that to be too um that doesn't really make me a problem but if you if you have problems like droopiness or something here you might want to avoid this um but yeah i think i think these are 
so cute. These are the thinner ones. I forgot what that's called, the high something or other. You'll see that where it's like um, the lens is a 1.61, whatever the thickness is. I think that's uh, millimeters or something. It's probably not millimeters. It's probably something else because the millimeter would change depending on your, your prescription. Um, and then I did get, oh yeah, I did get the refl anti-reflective coating. So these are $29.95 was the price of the frames. So that's what you're going to pay if it's single vision and you don't have anything really crazy on your prescription. Um, and then the lens, they're the no line multifocal that all of these are the no line multifocal. Um, but these are 1.61 where the other ones were 1.67, 1.57. Sorry. So 1.57 for the other ones, and these are 1.61. So the higher the number, the thinner they'll be. So this is how thick they are. They do stick out a little bit, but really not much at all. And I'm that's not anything I'm concerned about. But this one, in case you want to compare, I shouldn't put them down that like that, but I just did. Um, these are thicker lenses or thicker frames. They stick out a little bit here on the edge on this back part, but like nobody will notice that. So that's just my thickness for my particular prescription. And of course, the bigger the lens, the thicker it's going to be because it's thinner in the middle and it thickens as you go out. So the more actual glass or plastic area that there is, I guess these are black glass, glass or plastic, um, the more of this there actually is, the thicker it is because it's thicker out here than it is in the middle, if that makes sense, maybe. Um, I def M def M something. I don't know what, I'm not sure what that was in response to, which is, see, that's a, that's a problem because when you're responding, sometimes the response comes like after I've already said something, I'm like, what did I say that you're responding to? But anyway, um, okay. So super, super, super duper love. Great. Wonderful. Now here's a trick that I'm finding. So I put these on the distance is great. Um, so basically this part is all for distance <coughs> and this part down here is for reading. You know that, right? Oh, an eyebrow person. Okay, great. So yeah, these would be great for you. <coughs> um, I just don't have the patience to do it and I don't have the eyebrows to do it. <coughs> yeah. And I haven't figured out how to really make it not look like I'm a clown. I think it's just the way that my eyebrow shape is and because my eyebrows you see they kind of come down so far here and I'd have to like basically shave off the end in order to make them go out but even that there's like not enough space on my face to make them do what I really want them to do so we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it brush him up do the werewolf <coughs> um <coughs> brows and then we're good um There was something that I was saying. What was it that I was saying? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. How to look through them. So as I was looking through them, if you have not used bifocals before, <coughs> you basically have to kind of tuck your chin in just every every day. So instead of, you can't hold your, okay, there's, a, there's some bananas sitting right there. And if I put these other glasses on, <coughs> I could see them fine, but they'd be a little bit blurry. If I just tuck my, my chin a little bit they look super clear but if i go up like this they're all blurry and that's going to give me a headache but then when i'm reading and you guys would notice this before in my other videos if i try to read something like what is written on this tag here um i couldn't and i still find myself just automatically <coughs> going like this and then kind of going like this because i'm looking through the wrong section so i have to tip my head up and then i can see distributed by walmart stores inc you needed to know that. <coughs> Let me grab a cough drop right here so I stop coughing. That's annoying. It's annoying me. I'm sure it's annoying you. So these are $29.95. The lens were the most expensive of the group because they're the thinner ones. So they were $55. I didn't get anything else fancy on these that I didn't get on the other ones except I just thinned them out. And then the anti-reflective coating is $4.95. <coughs> so... Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Those are bad, freaking tastic. Next pair. These ones are the most basic, simple, but these are kind of like my 
sophomore in, in college glasses. If I was a sophomore in college, these are what I would wear. So they have, um, they're like a lavender gray. You know, I, got, I can't get a pair of glasses. I can't get a glasses over here without getting some purple. So they're a lavender gray and they're like a brushed, which is kind of fun. And then on the side, they have like this rose, um, kind of a smoke, smoky rose sort of, sort of thing going on. So yeah, they're, they're definitely what I would call, um, winter colors, super simple, super basic. These are just like every, everyday sort of thing. Um, they are lightweight. Uh, they are the no line multifocals again. Let me find them on here. So the, the frame was 995 on these. They come in a couple of different color options. Um, and then I got them in the 1.57 thickness for $27.95. I did not get the anti-glare. So you see, you can still see the ring light on the other ones, but you can't see the computer screen. You see my computer screen here? If I put these other ones on, the ones I just took off, or the ones that are sitting right there, that'll help you too. So these ones, you can see the computer screen. These ones, you can't see the computer screen. You can just see the ring light. So <clears throat> that's the difference between those. It does make a difference when you're driving at night to have the um, the stuff on, but I, I, you know, I was being cheap and saving my five dollars. Um, get it if you can, you know. But if you want more glasses like me or whatever, save the five dollars. I just decided not to get it on these ones and see. These are a little bit tight here. I know they can be adjusted, and you can actually bring them into like a um, glasses place, and they'll they can adjust them for you. Sometimes they'll charge you, but um, yeah, I I think these are a great like everyday sort of simple basic, uh, you know nerdy girl glasses nothing nothing super special but they're just nice and um good and basic I, a pair that you don't really care if you lose now these ones are some of the funnest ones here they're a little bit weird but that's okay because i'm a little bit weird Ta look at these look at these aviators they are in uh uh what's the word i, I want to say angular but it's not that's not it uh, geometric, um, cat eye sort of thing, but you see, so the top kind of comes down like this, which can do weird things to your face, but then the bottom comes up like this, which also can do weird things to your face because you'll see it makes my cheeks look a little bit more full. That's not a bad thing necessarily, necessarily. Jamie Selby, J Jamie B. Selby. Yeah. Um, welcome. I had to think about that a second, but it does make the cheeks look a little bit more full because of the way that it cuts in like this. If it started like this, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make the cheeks look that as full. I don't care because they're cute and they're, they're fun enough. And yeah, so these ones, I would consider these to be like an extension of the eye look. Um, but since they're so thin, they also with these, you, you could like bring the eye look up above because you see there's actually quite a bit of brow space here. So if you went back here, um, you could totally get by with that because they're, they're thin enough that they're not going to interfere and you can kind of make it work together. But I still think of these as kind of adjusting the shape of the, of the eye. So let's look at these and see. So these were the lens, the, I'm sorry, the frames are $29.95. That's the regular price of the frames. Um, <laughs> they do have sales periodically too, but I didn't get in on one because I needed to order these. Uh, Maggie K K Cavani is here, and not today, not today, not today is with us. Um, not today. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We're talking about the eyeglasses that I got from Zenny. These ones I also did not get the anti glare. You see this computer screen here. It was just a you know I got it on two. I didn't get it on the other two. Um, and so $29.95 for the frames and $27.95 for the lenses. Now, um, I got the 1.57 thickness. So all three of the last ones were the one point, or sorry, three of the pairs were the, were the thicker one. The thinner one is the red frame on the bottom. Um, everything else is the same and I didn't get the anti-glare. Now with these ones, because these ones are thinner this way, they're probably not the best ones to have gotten the um, multifocal. 
Um, I probably should have gotten these single vision because there's just a, not enough space to really navigate between them. It's okay, but it's not the best. You kind of want to keep those with the, like the wider, you know, if I have this much, um, lens, that would probably have been better. That was just one of those things that, um, I, I didn't know. And so, um, they're fine. It's not that they're bad and that I can't, I, I can see out of them. Um, and I can use them, but I just, I think that there's just less, you know, I feel like it gets blurry, um, when I just level out my chin instead of just kind of having to go up a little bit to get blurry. Yeah. Um, if I'm looking straight out, that's just, uh, that's what, just what I've noticed. Other than that, I've got no complaints. I think they're great. Um, the, I have noticed since then, because I've been going on to, um, pain glasses, they have maybe better prices for my single vision and actually for the, for the, um, multifocals as well. So I might have to, uh, look into that and see what I can do. My battery is going to die on my phone. So that means you guys are going to go bye-bye. So I'm going to go ahead and end this and get something to eat. So I will see you in the next one. That's going to be Wednesday and hopefully the um, order will be in and we'll be taking care of all of that. We'll see what's going on. But that's all I've got for you. So I will see you Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time ish, more or less. And until then, bye. Yeah, 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 yeah